Yo guys, how's it going? My name's Lone, and today I have something very special for y'all. This is my first Rust-based design that'll be here on YouTube, and I don't really consider myself that much of a builder, but I had an idea for this base about three months ago, and then I've been building upon it each wipe that I've played since then. Also, having Dust and Nine, my two friends, take a look at it and add features to it that made it even better than I could imagine. Before we hop into the base tour, I want to take a moment to thank you guys for getting us all the way to 650 subscribers in one year. Honestly, it's a lot farther than I thought it would have gotten in one year here on YouTube, and I'm pretty proud of what we've accomplished in that time. If you guys are new to the channel, it would mean a lot if you subscribed and dropped a like. These videos take a lot of time for me to make, and also maybe go check out my last one where we actually played out of this base. As well as the next video I'll be releasing, we also built out of this base in its final development stages, just a week before this video was filmed. Once again, I want to thank you guys for all your continued support, and let me know what you guys think down below in the comments about this base. Without further ado, let's hop right into the base tour. Starting off the base tour outside, we have a mini china wall with some nice roof ramp peaks on the outside. Coming into front door on this side, we got to jump up to our second floor, but for now we're going to explore inside the china wall. Coming over to this side, we have a six rocket loot room that can be used for drop boxes or you can put loot in here when you get off blind. Then on this side, we have two beds and a locker. Then we come over to our roof ramp peaks where we have an auto turret that watches both front doors and there's one on each side. And then we have our roof ramps. And it's mirrored on the other side with the bedroom and the loot room as well. We also have these turrets up top here that are potted off to see the inside. Now we'll come into our jump up into second floor where we have some shotgun traps, a locker, our mixing table, a large battery and a loot room along with three beds and another locker. Coming down over here we can drop down into our starter core where we have three furnaces for a jump up two lockers here which are optional you could place you know whatever you want here but i just like to have lockers so i can rekit fast now right, coming down here we have our tier two and our loot room with tons of storage coming up on third floor we have two windowed loot rooms with four boxes in each side along with a battery and a tier three with small box jumping up to third floor we have three more beds with two lockers and also four vending machines that are nine rockets to get to through doors And now we come out onto our shooting floor where we have some nice peaks in and around our shell down below. Accompanied by these roof ramp peaks with auto turrets on them that pretty much cover all of the shooting floor. This gives you angles all around your base. Also on these ramp peaks we have roof retakes. For now we're going to come back down to our mobility chutes and head up through them. Come up on this ladder and you have these peaks down into your front door that also lets you see out and around your compound once again. And also coming up this way you have these two lockers which you can grab and re-kit so it gets you back in the fight and they're sealed off behind this garage door so they're all individually blocked off in their own triangle. And coming up here onto this floor we have our we have a bed up here and you can also fit another bag up here and uh, we have these crouch peaks out and around the base along with these roof peaks and coming up onto our roof finally we have four auto turrets around on every side along with a 15 rocket vending machine bunker 
just for a little bit more offline protection you can split up your loot. This base is a 2x1 that is honeycombed and at the top here it seals off into a 2x3. And the whole idea behind this base is to be really cheap, easy to get up and also effective for an online raid. But also having lots of places to split up your loot so if you get offline raided and they want to get everything they're going to have to spend a lot of rockets. Alright, to get the starter down, you're just going to want to build a simple 2x1 starter base. We're going to put down some double doors instead of single doors on this. Of course, you know, it's up to you. I prefer double doors because once you get garage doors, it gives you a lot more mobility. I'm going to place down some large boxes and don't forget to put a code lock on your TC. We're going to put one furnace in this room along with our workbench and three bags. And that's pretty much it for now. Now we're going to get on to the starter expansion. We're going to come out the front door and start placing down our foundations around the base for our honeycomb. And now we're going to add the shelf in our TC room so we can fit some extra boxes. And these two triangles right here are going to be walled off as honeycomb. And you could do a half high jump up, but for me I'm just going to do a furnace with a double door. And then sew off the honeycomb up top and place the walls all the way around on the foundations below. And you can go ahead and bring these up two stories high if you get the resources for it. Now we're going to come back down to our starter core, and we're going to go ahead and upgrade everything to sheet metal that we can. And this triangle we're going to place down three furnaces for a jump up to the second floor. And then we can slap on some garage doors. After that we can place down two lockers in each of these triangles. Then we can place two more boxes in our TC loot room. The next thing we're going to do is start adding some loot rooms up here. We can fit four boxes in this part right here. Along with the half high jump up on this triangle to the right. And then a place where we can put a locker later on. And we can place a large battery in this triangle and window it off. Just remember to upgrade that floor below it to sheet metal before you put in the window. Otherwise you'll have to pick up the battery. Then we can put a mixing table in a small box in front of that. And I'm going to add some garage doors up top. This is looking pretty good. I'm going to go ahead and add that locker down right here. Now you can fit another one right here on the way out. And then I like to put two shotgun traps above the jump in. And then you can place one on this jump down below. We're going to cap off the roof with a double door. And then last but least, we're going to go ahead and add three beds, one for each of our teammates on this floor. And I like to put them as close to the mixing table as possible because it makes the jump up just a little bit easier. The next part of the base that we'll build out is going to be our shell. This is my favorite part of the base, so we're going to head out of the jump up and start placing down some triangles. This is completely symmetrical on both sides. And you're going to build off with two squares and delete the one on the right, and then place four triangles and delete the two in the middle. And you'll repeat these steps on each side of the base. Then we'll come around to the other side and do the same thing with a raised foundation and a circle pattern, and then two squares and a triangle. And that's our footprint for the shelf. 
Next thing I'm going to do is start walling off around. We're going to do half fights next to the raised foundation because this is where our ramp peaks will be. I'm going to put a window right here because this side's going to have a bedroom. And we're going to upgrade these frames and walls on this side of the shell to metal because this is what's going to be holding up our shooting floor once we get that up. Of course, you don't have to do this right at the beginning. Do it when you got metal. Then we're going to add a loot room out here in the shell. And the six rockets through the doors or eight rockets through the back. You can fit two beds in each of these loot rooms, there's one on each side of the base, along with a locker and a small box for ceiling mats. Now we're going to come over and place windows above these half height, and then we can go ahead and place on our embrasures after that. Then we'll add our roofs, and just like that you have some ramp peaks, and we're going to repeat this on the other side as well. Now we're going to mirror the bedroom on the other side of the base and upgrade those frames and walls once again to sheet metal. And last but least, we're going to come up top here and we're going to add some pods to put some auto turrets in so that I can watch the inside of the shell. I recommend upgrading the floor below this to sheet metal so the turret will stay up longer if you're getting upgraded. Then last but least, we're going to add a square frame. This is going to add more stability to the shooting floor later on. You can upgrade this to metal or stone, whichever you have the resources for. And that's pretty much it for the shell expansion. Now we're going to move on to upgrading the bottom part of the base, and then build the third and fourth floor. You're going to want to leave these walls stone on the sides before you place down your auto turret. Otherwise, you'd have to upgrade one of the walls to armor to replace it. Now we're coming up to our third floor and we're going to go ahead and get this walled off. I would go ahead and do this in metal if you have the resources at the time. Hmm. On each side now we have four box loot rooms, totally eight boxes, and the windows also act as honeycomb. These frames don't need to be metal, they could be stone. Now I'm going to go ahead and just add some garage doors all the way around. After that then you place down your tier 3 workbench to the left with a small box. And on the right you can place a large battery or you can place another locker if you'd like to. Now coming up on the 4th floor, we're going to add 2 windows on each side and then 2 door frames on each side and then we're going to wall off this triangle. Add some garage doors and some windows and this floor is sealed off.
Now it's time to move on to the shooting floor and also finishing off the shell down below. First thing we're going to want to come do is come place down these frames down below. And we're going to do this on both sides of the base. Once you get these set up, we can move over to where our mobility chutes are going to be and place down double door frames on each side, along with the floor and half height wall. And then we're just going to add some walls going up here, and you can use a ladder early game or a ladder hatch. It's entirely up to you and whatever you have. We're going to come up top here and place double frames on each side for added stability. Now we go ahead and upgrade these to metal as well. Now we're just going to add some windows on each side and a half height wall in between. And then another window there. And we're going to repeat the same thing on the other side with the windows. Adding low walls here gives you a nice peek back and down into your shell. Now we're going to place down some boxes right here, get them as snug as you can into the corner. This just allows you to crouch to get a better angle down into your shell. And then we're going to go around, do half high walls and windows like so, and just keep going around the base following as I do. We're going to place this triangle floor here on each side. This is going to give us a spot for an auto turret. Then we can start sealing up our roof. At this part, we're going to put down two squares on each side to seal it into a 2x3 to make the roof seamless. And then we're going to get these windows built up and cap those off at the top. This is looking pretty good. We're going to go ahead and upgrade these floors to metal. And then we can add our roof ramps here. And then repeat the same thing on the other side. Coming up here, we're going to place the double door frame on one side and a window next to it, and then we're going to mirror this on the other side. Also placing these double door frames on each of these triangles. Our next step is going to be adding all of our embrasures. You're going to need 12 vertical and 8 horizontal to finish everything, and just place them as I do here. Now we can add our lockers into each of these triangles. And once we get done with that, we can start adding doors to all of our frames. Next we can place a bed on the jump up the roof here. You can fit one bed on each side, along with a small box and a bag for an extra teammate. Next we're going to cap off our roof ramp peaks with some low walls. Then last but least for the shooting floor we're going to add these siren lights. These are just to prevent you from falling through. Last but least, we're going to place down some vending machines next to these windows. You will have to take off the glass windows first, but just try to fit them to as snug as you can up against the wall and all the way to the right. 
And then we're gonna repeat this on the other side. This is just added storage for pretty much free. I wouldn't put anything too important up here, but you could definitely put some extra kits or something next to your beds. Next thing we're gonna do is place these triangle roofs from down below. Makes it a lot easier to just place it from the bottom. And then we'll come up on our roof and we'll add these triangle roofs that going outwards away from the base. Now we'll come up and place these four auto turrets underneath each of the roofs on all four sides. And last but least, we'll go ahead and upgrade all of this to metal, except for these two that we'll upgrade to armored. This is where our venom machine bunker will go. You place down two low walls and place the venom machine as far up as you can. And then you just place down a wall and upgrade it to armored and rotate it. And then you can place down a thatch roof and access the vending machine. This is just for extra offline protection. I would just put some extra guns or whatever you want in there. And then we could build a tower straight up in the middle for one wind turbine. Of course, you can add as many as you want to the roof of this base. And then we'll come back down to our shooting floor, upgrade the walls behind the vending machines to metal to make it more expensive to get to. And then we'll add our auto turrets on these triangle floors that we placed earlier. And last but least, we're gonna come down to our shell and add all of our metal barricades. You'll need 14 total to be able to get this complete. And just place them down like I do here. And all we have to do is repeat this on the other side and then we'll have our shell complete. And that pretty much wraps it up for the base. I'm gonna give you guys an optional compound you can add on. It's nothing fancy, but to do it, we're, we're just gonna build two squares off the base and then delete the first one and add a triangle. And then go out and we're gonna build this simple three triangle gatehouse. Add these two doors to where it makes an airlock, and then put embrasures on each side. And you got yourself a nice little gatehouse. And now we're going to go out for some disconnectable TCs with the following build out. And I like to put my door facing towards the base so that if someone decides to door raid your externals during a raid, at least you can see it. And don't forget to put two half walls here if you want to be able to disconnect your TC. Also, make sure you add a code lock to your external TCs. Now we just need to add these frames up top like so, and then delete these four triangles down below. You can place the roof here, and the frame should disconnect, and you get a working disconnectable TC. Now we're just going to repeat the same build out on the other side of the base for our gatehouse and external. And you can feel free to add more than two externals to the space, you could add four, or as many as you like. But for me, I'm just going to keep it simple and do two. Once you get your walls placed, you can also place these build up with a roof on it to prevent people from placing a TC on top of your base when you get raided. You can also upgrade the bottom triangle to sheet metal and then build these frames out. And then you just need one barricade really to cover this gatehouse so people can't get in. 
And that pretty much wraps up the build for this phase. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If I did a good job, please consider dropping me a like and maybe even subbing to my channel. It means a lot and it helps me out in the long run with making more videos for you guys. I've been working hard and I have a next movie coming out very soon. I can't wait to bring it to you guys when it's ready and I hope to see all of you there. Also, I'm not really much of a Rust builder. This base just kind of happened, but I've enjoyed making it and I hope you guys like the final product. I might end up making some more in the future, so let me know down below what you guys would like to see from me. Until then, I hope to see you guys in the next video.